Okay, good afternoon all, Coach Russ here. Uh, and if you're watching a few seconds ago, this is part two because part one, I try to be clever and share to my free group at the same time. And as soon as I did that, the camera tilted in. I thought, oh, hold on a minute here. I can't have the whole video with me like that. So, good afternoon. Hope you are well on this beautiful, sunny afternoon. It's uh, 20 past one, give or take. The sun is shining. It says 23 degrees on my watch. So, um, what I'm going to talk to you about today. Let's have a good chat. So, it's entitled, Can You Keep Up With Usain? Now, as far as I know, there's only one person in the world that everybody knows called Usain, and his name, second name is Bolt, and he runs rather fast. Even though he's now retired, he's super damn fast, and I think pretty much the majority of the world would have trouble keeping up with him. And the reason I want to talk about him and that theory in general is because uh, I often post on my timeline or even on the Right Coach Facebook page or in my group, I will post results to celebrate clients' wins. So Fred lost six pound last week or uh, Johnny just finished a six week plan has lost a stone or Georgina has lost three pounds in the last week or, or you get the idea or they're down in body fat and, and as soon as I get that, 99 times out of 100, I'm pretty much guaranteed there'll be at least one emoticon with a sad face, which is crazy. Because what I'm trying to demonstrate is that these people have worked hard and got amazing results, albeit with my help, but they've done the hard work. I've just guided them. As I said yesterday, I'm just a driving instructor. I'm sitting next to you, I'm in the car, and as soon as you start going slightly off, I'll pull you back in. I'm just there to guide you. But you have to do the hard work. You have to put your foot on the gas, the foot on the brake and make the effort. So by showing a sad face when someone has great results is a strange reaction because they've had great results. And when I dig deep and speak to these people and find out why, because I'm always intrigued by it, it's because they're actually sad with their results. They're sad that they haven't lost three pounds last week or sad that they haven't lost 10% body fat in the last eight weeks or they haven't got into a new pair of jeans or an old pair of jeans they're sad about the fact that they're not succeeding and they react to someone else's successes in a negative way because a sad face is a negative way you can't you, you would want to celebrate you're a clap you say well done not oh I'm sad I'm sad because I haven't got that and that's the problem with social media social media generally we only see the highlight reel you only see the bits of the day that people to sh choose to show and most people just through human nature choose to show what's going well it's not often people choose to show things that are going badly why would you do that why do you share things that are not good in your life you share the things that are good in your life so someone else sees that and says oh my god that rust boy he's not only handsome he's not only shaved his head this morning he's not only working in outdoors but he's got an amazing life but well, the truth is you don't see what I do the rest of the day. You don't see that I have down days. I have days where I don't want to eat well. I have days where I'm desperate. Like this morning I got up and I was starving. And I was desperate for a fry up. I was desperate for things which won't, aren't gonna move me towards where I wanna be. I don't always post that because less than the explanation around it, people get confused by the message I'm trying to send. I'm obviously trying to give a message of follow this sort of guideline and you'll see results. If I start saying as a coach that I'm having a bad day, you may think it's okay to have a bad day. So I need to show the good so that you can be inspired and understand that the good will get you somewhere. But I can talk about it now because I can put some framework around it. And every day I have a bad day, bad minutes, bad hours. And I also have good hours. And this is the same with people on social media. You, uh, everyone on social media tends to put the good stuff up and expects everyone to go, yay, well done, you're doing amazing. When actually, that's just part. It's a tiny part of the day. So if you start comparing yourself until you're uh, against your friends, against your colleagues, against your family, who are showing their best, and you're wondering why your best isn't being, isn't as, as good as their best, there's a couple of things there. One, you're only seeing the best parts. You're only seeing the best parts of your friend's journey. And if all they post is positive or stuff and amazing stuff, you've got to wonder, where's the negative? Where's the down days? Well, we're not going to post that. That's not what we're here on social media to do. We're here to sort of share the good stuff. 
So first of all, don't compare yourself against people's highlight reel. It's just that, it's a highlight reel of the good parts of their day. And the second part is goes back to what I opened with, which is about Usain Bolt. And I want to ask you this, have you consider, would you ever could say the fact that you can't run as fast as Usain Bolt over 100 meters, or 400 meters, or probably a mile, or probably 10 miles, but you know you can't run as fast as him over 100 meters, unless your name is, I don't know, I think he's still got the world record, so uh, unless you're up there in the top three or four, you're never gonna run even close to as fast as Usain Bolt. Does that make you feel sad? Or does that perhaps inspire you to work harder to achieve your goals and to be gold medal winners of your goals? That makes sense. The fact that you can't run as fast as you say, Bolt, or you can't dive as well off the diver ball as Tom Daly, or you can't, can't do another example, but those two will do me. If you can't do those things as well as them, does that make you a failure? Of course not. Because that's not what your thing is. Whatever your thing is, is personal to you. So by comparing yourself, you don't compare yourself to Usain Bolt, why compare yourself to Joanne from Bedfordshire, who last month lost a stone? You have no idea what that context is. So when I share the wins, you've got no idea if that context is, she's lost one stone but has got eight to go, or she's got one, lost one stone, she's got a pound to go, or in the previous month she put on two stones, she only lost half what she's put on. You've got no context. So how can you compare yourself to it? So you have to compare yourself like with like, and you never know what like with like is. So when you see a win on Facebook, when you see a win on Instagram, when you see someone doing well, accept that, A double C, accept that it's without context accept they've done well, but also accept that your one pound weight loss last week was amazing. It doesn't matter if you put two on the week before, or you're going to not move until the next week, you still lost one pound. You've still got one inch less of your, on your, around your waist of body fat. You're that much closer to getting a pair of jeans, or that much closer to enjoying your holiday next year, because you'll look damn hot on the beach. You're that much closer. Don't compare yourself against somebody else because you don't know where they're coming from. Don't know what the context is. So to finish off that simple statement, can you run as fast as you say in Bolt? No, you can't. Celebrate it. Don't compare yourself to others. You don't know where they've come from, where they're going or what they're doing. You're only seeing a highlight reel. I hope that makes some sense, guys, because I want you all to succeed in isolation, you do what you do best, you get where you want to get to, and ignore everybody else. The only person you have to worry about is you and me, because I'm gonna help you get there, and we will work together, and I will celebrate your wins with you. Have a great, great Saturday, enjoy this amazing weather, and I'll see you all very soon. But for now, Russ Boy, out.